Hi everyone, welcome to Transformers for discussion number two. Um, this is when I'm going to be talking about my opinion on the latest Transformers 4 news. i got my iPad here full of uh, stuff to talk about. So we'll go ahead and start off with Hound and uh, the stick on the head. I mean the head on the stick. Yeah. <laughs> the head on the stick seen on set. Um, I don't like it. Uh, this is not confirmed to be Hound, but most likely it's Hound, I think, because it's, uh, Hound and Mumblebee are the only vehicles that have been filmed so far on the, uh, set in, uh, the Hong Kong set in Michigan, so I do think that that's Hound. So, reason I don't like it, he looks like Santa Claus or a lumberjack, uh, he's got a very human-looking face, um... He's got a pipe sticking out of his mouth, a uh, long beard. I just don't like it. It looks like a grandpa-type uh, Transformer that's going to tell war stories the whole movie. I mean, I know I'm taking a lot of judging from this early on. It's just a cardboard face on a stick so far used for filming. But I, I, don't, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, it's not going to make me want to watch the movie any less. I know there's people on, you know, TFW 2005 that are already whining about how they're not going to see the movie because they don't like the face, cardboard face. I mean, that makes no sense. You're not going to see the movie because you don't like a face on a stick used for filming? Come on. But, you know, it's not going to make me enjoy the movie any less. It's just that, uh, I don't know, I... I I'm just, I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll, it'll seem better with the CGI look to it. You know, it's just a 2D cardboard image right now, so maybe I'll end up liking it. But as far as right now, I'm not a fan of it. But, you know, I mean, I'm, to those of you who like it, you know, I, I respect that. And uh, I just, as of now, I don't like it. It just looks too human grandpa-like, like, like Santa Claus. Like, uh, but, you know... Just a minor nitpick, if anything. Um, next topic here is going to be about filming. Um, tons of photos and videos on the set, and it looks like the main actors are really enjoying themselves. Um, I know that, uh, you know, Wahlberg and uh, Sophia Miles and Jack Rayner have all had interviews saying how much they're enjoying filming and how much they looked forward to, join, uh, to do filming. And... Um, it's just from judging on the photos on set and everything, it looks like they're really enjoying themselves. They're having fun, they're laughing, um, and I think this cast is really going to take things seriously. You know, you had Shia LaBeouf, uh, he, he didn't, I mean, he took it seriously, but it wasn't something that he uh, loved. Um, he wanted to get away from it here at the end. Uh, he didn't want to do it anymore. So... I think this this cast is really going to, you know, do justice to Transformers and, you know, really take this job seriously and have fun at the same time. Um, I just have to point out real quick that um, Nicola Peltz is looking amazing on set. I'm sorry, I just have to mention that. I'm 18. An 18 year old guy. I, <laughs> I just had to mention that. And, um,. So the the sword seen on Mark Wahlberg on set, um, I do think it's a Star Saber. Uh, I think it um, maybe shrunk down just like the Allspark in the first movie. Maybe Optimus gave it to gave it to him for some reason, and um, he's holding on to it. Uh, he's got a rope tied to him, swung over his back, and uh, I think it's going to be something huge to do with the uh, the story. Because, I mean, it just, it looks like something big. I mean, you know, like in Transformers 3 filming, um, Shia LaBeouf had the, uh, what everyone was calling the power glove on his hand, which really just turned out to be um, something that Sam grabbed Starscream's eye with. Really didn't have anything major to do with the plot. Um, but this, I think, is going to do major to do with the plot, because it's a sword. It's a giant, you know, double-bladed sword. I mean, it's awesome looking. I don't think it's going to have any minor thing to do with the movie. It's going to be a, a main plot point, I think. And I, like I said, I do think it's a Star Saber that shrunk down. Um, there's a couple of other options. You've got the uh, key to the um, um, Vector Sigma. You also have one of the keys to the Omega Lock or something like that. And you also have uh, Jack Rayner has been carrying this black bag that's um, about probably about this long and, you know, like that. 
and uh, we don't know what's in that bag. Uh, it could be anything. But I and there's two swords that have been seen on set. My opinion is that it's just an extra, just in case something happens to the other. But maybe there's two. I don't know. Um, but it's interesting to see something like a Cybertronian artifact like that. And also, um, if you look closely, it does have like a sun looking thing on the on the swords so maybe maybe it is the star saber after all um, also I think the cars are next on my list yes um, Transformers live-action movie blog um, got a tip from somebody that the Lamborghini is sideswipe um, this is not confirmed by any means uh, but it would make sense sideswipe was a uh, Lamborghini in um, G1 so it would make sense. What puzzles me is why he would change other than Bay's whole redesign thing. But um, So it would be interesting to see if that actually is him or not. Um, I, I was thinking it was going to be a completely new character until now uh, because it just, I just didn't see a reason why Sideswipe would change. But um, I know a lot of people had thoughts that it would be Sideswipe. But uh, this is kind of the first, I won't call it major breakthrough of it maybe it being Sideswipe because it's just a random person. You really can't have a lot of trust on the internet. But, you know, he could be telling the truth. Or maybe it could just be a production name and, you know, getting people to think it's Sideswipe. Um, also, um, we have the Rusty Truck. Um, we have a new video, I think it is from Texas though, um, was seen with a yellow uh, VW Beetle. Optimus and Bumblebee, maybe? I don't know. I've, I've been thinking that the rusty truck is Optimus in hiding or something, but uh, with the VW Beetle there, Bay is either trolling us, or it could be another alt mode for Bumblebee, or um, I like this idea. It came from uh, Tony Former, a board member on TFW 2005. Um, he was saying, you know, maybe they're looking for high-out vehicles, and Bumblebee comes across a VW Beetle and a uh, black, mainly black, and a little bit of yellow uh, Chevy Camaro. And they're both sitting next to each other, and B's kind of looking at it and being, hmm, which one should I take? And he chooses the Camaro. Evan, you know, I, I could see something like that happening. And um, also the, uh, the Corvette I want to talk about. Um, Recent, I mean, a long time ago, it was, re it was rumored to be a uh, um, slingshot, which was a jet um, in old Transformers history. Um, that was just a production name. And recent rumors are saying it's Sunstreaker. Now, before you all panic and say, but Sunstreaker's supposed to be yellow. Um, he does have a sunburst pattern on the car, so that could be the little nod to him being Sunstreaker. Um, I don't think they would have two yellow cars, you know, Bumblebee and Sunstreaker. So I think if it is Sunstreaker, green would be the way to go with a sunburst paint scheme. And I think that would work great because, you know, it's it's a sunburst paint scheme, Sunstreaker. It doesn't have to be yellow, and technically the sun's not yellow anyway, so it just looks yellow. So anyway, so it could be red or orange, you know, really. But I think green's a good color. And, um, you know, that would also mean that uh, maybe the, the brothers Sideswipe and Sunstreaker um, would, you know, be in the film together. And maybe um, Sideswipe took the Lamborghini form because he didn't want to be the same as Sunstreaker. Sunstreaker, like, like hey, I want to be like you with the Corvette. And Sideswipe's uh, like, uh, no. And he chooses the Lamborghini. So that's a possibility. And the last thing I want to talk about are the Dinobots. Now, Mark Wahlberg um, had an interview recently, I think it was with MTV, and he was asked about the Dinobots, of course. Everyone wants to know about the Dinobots. Are the Dinobots going to be in it? Are they not going to be in it? What's happening? Are they going to be dinosaurs? Um, so he was asked the uh, question in an interview, and all he said was that he can't say anything and websites across the internet are blowing up news about Mark Wahlberg confirms Dinobots in Transformers 4. No, he didn't. He's gonna say I can't say anything with any Transformers character. They could ask if Trypticon or, 
or Metroplex or, or you know, Omega Supreme is going to be in it, he's going to say, I can't say anything. I mean, you know, it's what they're told to say. He can't drop any hints unless he's allowed to. So that means absolutely nothing. I mean, I'm not saying the Dinobots are not going to be in it. I do think they are going to be in it. Um, but we can't go by what Wahlberg said in that interview. Um, other than that, I mean, we we do have some hints uh, from, you know, Greg Berger, you know, the the old voice for uh, um, Grimlock and G1 and Fall of Cybertron. He was asked um, at Florida Supercon if he would do the voice in Transformers 4 if Michael Bay approached him. And his response was, I will do the character justice, you'll see. That's a pretty big hint. Um... Maybe he was misquoted, maybe he just kind of said it wrong, but that sounds like he's going to be Grimlock. Uh, so, I do think they're going to be in there. I, I, I think, at the most, three. I think maybe Grimlock, Swoop, and maybe one other. But I don't think the whole team of Dinobots is going to be in the movie. That'd just be a bit too much. And maybe not. maybe only one of them would survive the end of Transformers 4, because... You know, I mean, it's kind of weird to have dinosaurs, and maybe at the end they're like, okay, I'll, I'll take a different form. Maybe they're stubborn and won't take an Earth form when they get to Earth or something. I don't know, just all speculation. Pretty much this whole video is speculation, so none of this is really fact. But, uh, just my opinions. So that's pretty much all I have to talk about for this Transformers 4 discussion number two. And, um, I would like to ask you guys, I am... Possibly, possibly, possibly. Don't hold me to this yet. I might be doing a live stream of me playing a video game on Twitch.tv um, on Thursday. But I'm not sure yet. I'm going to come out with a video either way saying if I'm going to or not going to with either more information or, hey guys, I'm not doing it. I, I will do live streams in the future, most definitely, but I'm just not sure about Thursday. I'm thinking about it. So if I do a live stream on Thursday, I have a feeling I'm going to choose a game of my own. I'm probably going to do a cup, maybe two games. Um, I'm going to choose a game of my own. I'm not sure yet. And I want you guys to vote on the other ones. So I'm going to give you the options of Transformers War for Cybertron, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but I'm not sure if I can get a hold of that yet, so that's kind of up in the air. Um, I know a friend of mine has it. And uh, let's say I've got NASCAR The Game Inside Line. Um, i trying to think of my other video games. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and a Need for Speed game. I don't know which one, but just a Need for Speed game. I'll end up choosing one if that's ended up voting the top. But, uh, so, vote on one of those. I will have a list if I think of more when I'm editing this video. And, uh, just give me a vote in the comments section of which game you'd want me to live stream. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that works out. If not, I will definitely do one in the future. May probably definitely before the summer is over for me. I go, I start college on the 26th. So that's definitely a little bit scary, but, you know. <laughs> and, um, so that is, again, Transformers 4 discussion number two. I am Marlon from Make sure to vote for my live stream game in the comment section below and uh, I will see you guys for my next video. See ya.